Hello there, Cancers. So um, what I do feel right off the bat for many of you is that your career work situation is really, really thriving. You are rubbing elbows with a lot of really good people. You're putting something out there. like It's like completing a major, major, long-standing project, bringing it out into the fold. And I feel for many of you, it might be through electronic channels, it might be online, it might be through some type of a, a publishing capacity. So for example, creating, um, writing codes for a software, writing codes for a video game, um, developing a software, developing an app, developing something that is published online, developing a website even, and you're getting a lot of positive reception coming your way, okay? And I feel like this is a project, if, it's, if you are in the process of doing it, I feel that there are many, many last minute touches that you need to put on it. And then I also feel that you're going to be very well received with a lot of acclaim, with a lot of um, good positive reception overall which will start to open a lot of doors for you. You might be invited to events to talk. You might be invited to, you know, um, like a, 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 I'm feeling like for some of you, a tech symposium. And then for others of you, um, they're calling you or people calling you or connecting with you via email. And they're telling you to come to give a talk, come to give a little bit of a speech, come to give a little bit of a demonstration based on this new thing that you brought into the world. So I feel that, it's going to be a major, major stepping stone for you to launch your career and especially to, you know, enhance your visibility and your credibility in that um, very niche industry further down the line. So it's a major, major stepping stone process. For others of you, I feel as if there has been a, a, a few reorienting when it comes to the work environment. I feel like some people that you might have really gotten along with, that you might have really, really liked, they are telling you, oh, you know, I'm not going to be staying at this organization a lot longer. I'm looking at uh, other opportunities with different industries, different companies. And so you kind of find um, you kind of find yourself like the only one left in the organization, in the company. And they're also telling you there isn't anything wrong with this just because everybody's leaving. It doesn't mean we have to as well. Only if there is a financial downturn in the company or the organization, that's the best, that's the only time that we should think about leaving. But I do feel that doors are opening up for you. So from now until, you know, the end of this year, I feel like you might be recruited. You might be headhunted. You might be in a position where you can really barter and negotiate and have leverage when it comes to your salary scale, other positions that you want to pursue. And also because some people are leaving in your organization, that will also free up the room for, for example, if um, different people are handling different projects, you as out of, you know, as the, the person that's remaining, you might have seniority over the other people that they're hiring on board to replace those vacancies you might be in a position where you get to get first dibs, for example, on projects. You might get better terms of treatments. You might get better hours. You might even get better pay scales. So I feel like it could still work in your favor, but at the same time, more options are opening up. So if you want to venture out, if you feel like you're not really learning anything new anymore in this work environment, it might be best for you to branch out because other companies are hiring. There are a lot of other vacancies, okay? I'm not seeing, a a major shift but I do feel that you are thinking about that as well you're thinking about well everyone that I really enjoy working with that I've really liked they're no longer here so maybe it's time for me to make a move don't follow the pack unless you know you feel like there's imminent danger when it comes to your current position but over don't follow the pack just for that reason just for the 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 sole purpose of you know sentimental ties with your co-workers okay the co I'm sorry, the relationship sector, I feel you have something new here. In the relationship sector, you have here the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is basically new love that is coming into the picture, new opportunities when it comes to love and finding that emotional um, fulfillment from a relationship partner. So I feel like for those of you who are single, there is something verging, something new um, coming into the picture. For those of you who are in existing relationships, I feel like the time period where this time period is where you're getting a lot of, um, 
I want to say like emotional support and you're also getting this outpouring of love you, uh, from your partner so your partner if they tend to be a little bit more on the spunky side very independent but not very emotionally vulnerable I feel like they are leaving themselves very vulnerable and they're telling you how much you mean to them so I feel like there is this um, process here about opening up uh, further communication and especially communicating on a more of an emotional level with a relationship partner okay I do see for some of you um, households family um, there might be a little bit of a situation coming through and I feel like somebody is dealing with like excessive alcohol consumption or somebody who's dealing with like using alcohol, using you know other methods of escapism to cope with, I guess like cope with endings of um, you know losing out on work, for example, or endings of relationship. They don't know how to process their feelings. They might not feel like they have other people. Um, to reach out to or they might not feel like they have a proper outlet for it So I feel like that's somebody within the family unit doing that and I feel like you are witnessing it for the next two weeks And you might need to step in and intervene and try to gently coax that person away from you know um, This destructive behavior So I do feel that element about you playing that peacemaker about you needing to use your voice in order to intervene in a situation to convince the other person um, to stop essentially so I, I see that element coming through for many of you and that's coming through in the family situation okay it could be I, I see like more like a male figure but it doesn't have to be specifically male but I, I see more like fathers brothers if you have um, brothers and I feel like they're dealing with I'm sensing like um, either like their 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 health causing them to lose out on work or causing them to get fired from work or they are dealing with you know like um, the end of a relationship and they're having difficulties coping so I feel like they're resorting to either drugs alcohol I do see more alcohol rather than like just you know recreational drugs but I feel like you might need to intervene and tell them you know why this is not appropriate and why it's not um, healthy a healthy coping mechanism okay and then I also feel for many of you you might have recently recovered from an illness there might have been some um, health issues affecting the work environment I feel like if there are there were or there are health issues affecting your work or if there is even like workers um, you know like workmen's compensation or if there has been legal issues settlements regarding work and things like that they mention the in the time of Scorpio so that's gonna run roughly from the end of October into the beginning so October 21st roughly into um, November 21st that's when the the situation will alleviate for you when your health is gonna start to feel significantly better or if there are settlements that you're waiting on I feel like that's when the financial compensation will start to come through okay so overall a lot of things are happening for you guys and I do feel like it would be um, really important for you as well you know just to take it easy don't wear yourself out and take care of your health okay take care of the health for yourself and the people around you all right so I wish you the best um, cancers I wish like it wasn't always so negative when I do these mid-month reading for you guys but I feel like you're going through some things and I don't know why you know every month things are it's like the the energy is very very up and down very choppy this entire 2017 one month is up and the next is down and it's not consistent across the board like a lot of the other signs but I hope you're able to navigate the energy and I hope the reading has been helpful for you guys please take care of yourself I'll talk to you soon bye bye